So I've been picking away at this woodworking project here and trying out some dowel joinery for the first time. Now the basic concept of dowel joinery is that you drill holes into two different pieces and glue them together with a dowel in between for strength and alignment. So I picked up a set of these handy little dowel centers. Great little tool for taking a drilled hole on one piece and marking out the center of a matching hole on another piece. So they allow you to get two holes lined up with each other for dowels and a pretty handy little tool. Let's back up for just a minute and talk about how I got that initial hole position right in the center of the board. Now to do this you need a tool called a center finder. This is a pretty basic design with two round pegs, one on each end. You place those pegs against the edges of the outside of the board and the point in the middle falls right in the middle of the board. Now usually you can use these tools to mark the center with a pencil or a punch, but I wanted to put my dowel center in the middle of it and use that to actually make the mark in the wood. Now I probably could have fashioned one of these out of wood myself, but to get the kind of precision that I was looking for uh, to hold that dowel center in the middle, I decided to turn to 3D printing. Well, I started off by taking some careful measurements of my quarter inch dowel center and created a model of the dowel center itself, sketching out the profile and creating a revolved shape from that. Once I had the dowel center modeled, I started off by creating the center hole that it would be sliding through. I want the dowel center to have some room to move in and out as I hammer it into the piece of wood and push it back out for the next one. So I gave it a little bit of clearance around the dowel center and enough room to travel in and out of the board. From there, I modeled the two round pegs on each end, equal distance from the center. And then connected everything together. And then I exported it to an STL file and sent it off to the 3D printer. Now, if you'd like to try and make one of these yourself, there's a few key dimensions to make note of. The overall thickness of the center finder should be the same as the height of the dowel center minus the point. The depth of the larger hole should be deep enough to enclose the point and this flange sticking out here so that it can be fully retracted and not scratch the wood underneath. Of course, I'll include some links in the description below of where you can find the dowel centers that I used, as well as where you can get the model of the center finder that I made here. So if you'd like to print your own, that's certainly an option. All in all, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I was able to create a new tool to make better use of the dowel centers that I already had, and uh, it's going to work out really well for some upcoming projects. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch, and we'll see you next time.